for our weekly crime roundup. Joining us now is Sergeant Chris Kim from Honolulu Crime Stoppers. What do you have for us today? Yeah, I got three cases I want to highlight. The first case is an unauthorized entry into the motor vehicle. So basically a vehicle break-in that happened over at the uh, Arizona Memorial area on Tuesday, June 11, 2024 at about 4.51 p.m. Uh, these two suspects pulled up uh, alongside the complainant's vehicle, which is a Jeep Wrangler right here. Uh, it has those plastic wraparounds. So what the suspect did is he cut open the uh, the plastic uh, covering, broke into the vehicle, and stole numerous items. Uh, both suspects are being described as unknown, and they were in a gray Toyota Sienna, Hawaii license plates 966 TVG, but these plates were stolen. They were taken off from another vehicle. Uh, so if you know anything about this case, please contact us at Crime Stoppers. Now, Chris, before we move on to the next one, um, I want to highlight this because this is actually the second case from this Arizona Memorial parking lot that you've shared recently here. Mm -hmm. Is crime, I mean, it sounds like this is kind of a, a hot spot for these criminals now, targeting tourist vehicles. Yeah, so actually we do have another case similar to this posted on our, our site, and I'll give the information after this. But these criminals, they know. They will frequent areas that uh, they know that uh, tourists will hang out at, uh, whether it be the Halona Blowhole, uh, this Arizona Memorial um, area is also very popular where they know that tourists are going to go there. In this particular situation, what they do is they'll drive around or sometimes the suspect will walk out and kind of case the different areas. In this particular incident, it was able to look into the Jeep Wrangler and saw that there were some suitcases and property back there. Oftentimes, people are either straight from the airport mm -hmm. before they check into hotels, they're stopping these areas, or before they depart. You know, they're going to have the check out, but the flight's not till later on. They're going to have the items with them, and these criminals know that. And they're going to drive around. Essentially, they're going to look into these vehicles and see if there's anything uh, that they can steal. Uh, so once again, these, these types of things are crimes of opportunity. So we just kind of want to warn the public that never leave anything valuable within your vehicles, because as you can see, it just takes a matter of seconds uh, for them to break in. Got it. And we have another one here. Uh, our second case is criminal property damage in the second degree, which happens over at the uh, Pro Highland Skyland Station on Sunday, June 23rd, 2024, at about 3.21 p.m. Uh, this male uh, used a, a metal rod to uh, damage uh, the automatic fare collector, uh, as you can see in this video right here. He's being described as an unknown male, tan complexion, medium build, black and white hair, wearing a green T-shirt and camouflage shorts. Which is odd because it looks like he had a pass to actually end up going through the gates so this is a little odd here yeah this kind of this one has no so rhyme or annoying. reason it, it is you know unfortunately it causes um Gosh. causes a big inconvenience you know for for other people that want to use it um so once again we want the community's help to please help us identify this suspect um so justice can be served yeah. all right and one more uh, our final case that i want to talk about is robbery in the second degree that happened over at the american savings bank over in Kanyoi. On July 3rd, 2024, at about 4.30 p.m., uh, this male suspect entered the American Savings Bank and handed a teller a demand note for cash. Uh, the suspect was given uh, an undisclosed amount of cash, then fled. He's been described as an unknown male in his 60s, uh, gray hair, thin build, pale complexion, wearing gray white cap, glasses, a high-vis uh, neon shirt, and dark colored pants. Uh, all three cases we talked about today can be seen over at the www.honolulupd.org website bottom left hand corner onto wanted persons as well as other cases that we need help in the community from solving uh, in solving and chris if you could uh, quickly remind us what is the best way for people to submit their tips and the process of remaining anonymous uh, so basically the community has three options one is calling our hotline at 808-955-8300 or going to our website at www.hollandcrimestoppers.org or downloading a p3 tips app available on the smartphone or tablet all three ways we will keep you 100 percent anonymous and you'll be eligible for up to a thousand dollars all right, Chris Kim, thank you so much for your work in keeping our community safe. We really appreciate it.